These are the experts on overhead crane systems, and we're kind of here to talk today about some of the hidden costs of crane ownership. So what if something goes wrong? Say they're doing the installation and something drops or something isn't bolted properly or they you know they have the wrong hoist or they put on the hoist backwards or something weird um which i've seen before actually unfortunately i have to <laughs> <laughs> um on the wrong side of the crane <laughs> who uh who eats that cost is that you know do we say we're going to install this within four days if we go into that fifth day you know we eat the cost or you know we're in and told how does how does that part go good question that's um, usually, yeah, I mean, if we over, if we, uh, let's just say we've estimated it to take four days. Mm -hmm. Well, if it takes us five days and it, uh, we've already quoted that installation, unless there was something that prompted or caused that extra fifth day that we had no control over, but yet the customer had control over, mm -hmm. you know, we would address it with them then and say, hey, we've, you know, we had these additional costs that were caused by X, Y, and Z mm -hmm. that from their facility and we'd like to discuss, you know, those, you know, taking care of those costs. If we just, you know, underestimated how long it was going to take, then that's on us. Okay. I mean, it's not a T&M, typically. It's a quoted job. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's up to us to make sure we take all the necessary steps ahead of time, like Matt was saying. You walk through it. You, you find out every piece of information. You sit down with the customer. You kind of tell them, here's what's going to happen. Here's how we foresee this going. Everyone agrees. They sign up on all the drawings, um, you know, so that which way the hoist is oriented, yeah. you know, which way the crane is yeah. oriented, um, and it is, hopefully at that point it goes smoothly. On the flip side, what if you show up and they're not ready? Yeah, that's I mean, exactly we, what I was going to ask. That never happens. Yeah. Really? Weird. Yeah. You know, because you've got all of you've got all of the work that goes into not not just building the crane, but then you got to get the crane on a flatbed. You got to get the truck to the facility. Yeah. You got to get the crane on the truck, then you've got delivery time, and you've got multiple flatbeds that are showing all rolling up at the same time. You've got your electricians there, you've right. got your installers yeah. there. So, how does that affect the cost of the installation? It's uh, it's it it used to be a bigger issue than it is now because the project managers are managing that okay. to make sure that when that crane rolls out, that electrification is being shipped, that rail is being on. You know, we know now that they're going to be ready for us. Mm -hmm. We very rarely have a dry run anymore where our guys show up and the customer says, I'm not ready for you. Right. Is this Tuesday? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Now, <laughs> you know, but we have issues where they say, I absolutely have to have the crane by I know. June the 25th. Mm -hmm. It's got to be there. And so we move things around in our production line and we're ready to go. And we call them up and say, OK, we're going to be there on Monday. And they say, well, we're not ready for you. <laughs> Right. You know, right. and and, uh, more often than you would yeah. and, and and then all of a sudden when you have your trailers sitting outside storing cranes that were supposed to be installed yep. two weeks yeah. ago, then everybody starts to get a little touchy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, because then that affects there's a cost. There's a cost yeah. to us to store. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to rent equipment. You got to get. Yeah. And, and if you show up and the, and the bay's not clear, I mean, you're, you st cover you're still paying lines. all those guys. You're, you're paying all the truck drivers the longer they stay there. You're paying the installers the longer it takes them to get started. You're down production in a bay that now has to get disassembled just to move so you can get your crane in. So there's, so it looks like a lot of the, a lot of it's front loaded stuff. That it's up to the customer to really spend a lot of time mapping out everything and really paying attention to, to what you guys have to say. It's, it's planning. the, it's the true planning and coordination with, with both the customer with uh, with the project manager and making sure that they're on the same page and they understand, hey, when you tell us you were gonna be there, we're gonna be there. Mm -hmm. So- um, up, up to the minute, almost communication. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there's been times where we're heading there and we call them and they're like, oh, we had this happen. Yeah. Honest mistake, but it's just something happened in the plan. Yeah. You know, so you can't over communicate. <laughs> I mean, you seriously can't no. over communicate with them. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, show us by hitting that thumbs up button right below this video player. And if you haven't already, there's a button that'll let you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, you don't miss out on any future content that we make. And if you wanna keep watching, there's a video player right above that that'll let you keep watching. Thanks.